Smithers voice. So now we are gonna copper plate directly onto a titanium substrate. So here I got some etching solution. So all you gotta do is you gotta drop this in. Yes. Now you gotta etch this for about a, a good minute. Make sure it doesn't have to be that high. It's a new uh, torch head, so it might be a little bit. You have to keep this stuff evenly. Careful of cavitation. Okay. And once it starts to do that, you gotta lower the temperature. So what's happening now is the, uh, the solution is reacting with the titanium. Once this happens, it's basically done. Now what you need to do is you need to carefully fish out this titanium. After you've done that, we're going to put it into a plating solution. Right, so I'm holding now the tongs. And what I'm going to do is... Now that the reaction has been quenched right here, do not take it out of the plating solution. What you want to do now is get your plating solution, get your power supply and run about 5 milliamps per centimeter squared surface area. Now with this electrode, we calculated that value to be 15 milliamps. So, I'm going to bring my power supply into frame. I'm going to change the frame of the camera. I have to bring the... So I've got the thing inserted, yeah? It precipitates a bit of copper fluoride, but that's completely normal. The very next thing you want to do is you want to turn this on and start first making sure the voltage is at zero. You don't want to mess this up, basically. Now, we have to let this get to 15 milliamps. Oh, too far. Okay. Now, since my, since my power supply is pretty shit, our plating voltage is going to be around here because that's, at, that's where it's at 5 milliamps per centimeter squared, about 15. So I'm just going to make a guess, find out, okay, that's 20. So it's around 0 0.6 volts there. So what you got to do now is, after about a minute, you got to check it, okay? So if after a minute, it, you see like some coppery color, it means it's working. If it's turning black, of course that black is from hydride experiments, but no, you have to look at where, it, you know, if you have a proper piece of titanium, that wouldn't be the case. But if you start seeing a coppery color, it means it's working. So I'm going to leave it in here for like a long time. Maybe I'll even time lapse it and you'll get to see how this plating process works. Hey now people, I have an announcement, this is the last video of the year, I'll see you next year, you happy new year people! So guys, it turns out time lapse wasn't really very good, there was nothing to see, but after a lot of time, you can see that uh, you got a very good coating onto this piece. Now there's one way to test the coating, we're gonna go about that next time, well not next time, in a while actually. So gonna wipe that stuff. Yeah, perfect. So overall we got a very nice coating of copper. We're gonna test this side because that's the side that was facing the electrode. And one good way to test is to do something known as a scratch test. So I'm gonna prepare the piece and I'll show you what that means. All right, so to test your, your uh, plating, first you get an ordinary piece of tape. You get a cutter. What you want to do is you want to create like a square grid, like a tic-tac-toe. Basically, I'm going to do it. Just make a square grid. You can do more than two. 
just line it out like this. Yeah. Once you've gotten a square grid, you pull it off. If anything comes off with it, you know, depending on how much comes off, will tell you how good the plating is. Now, what you can see here is the imprint. If this was a bad plating, you would see entire flakes come off once you've done this. However, if you look over here, you basically took off only very tiny amount of spots where I've scored them. So yeah, and a bit on the edges. So yeah, this plating is actually quite good. However, I'm going to say something. Whenever you plate anything directly onto titanium, it's very weak. But it is only for electrical connection. However, you cannot solder it, but it does work for clamping. And will be good for some electrical connections. So yes, this is how you plate directly onto titanium. Your plating solution must contain saturated copper, acetate, sulfate, whatever it may be. And you also have to add a bit of sodium fluoride in the plating solution, just a tiny amount, just to, you know, get rid of any oxides that would have precipitated. And your, uh, what's it called, your plating current density must strictly be 5 milliamps per centimeter squared. Anyway, that concludes the video.